Hey there guys and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 and today we're going to be taking on Montezuma or the first Montezuma scenario. So this is going to be something completely new because now we're in America and we're battling against, in the first scenario anyway, the um, the tribes there. Uh, you, I think you take uh, control of the Aztecs exclusively. Yeah. So you are the Aztecs, and you've kind of got to fight the tribes around you, and of course this is also taken into account the fact when the Spanish came across as well, so you'll have to obviously do some stuff with them. But first, we've got the first scenario, which is called Reign of Blood, and this is taking on three enemies, and it's not it's actually quite long for a first scenario, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Passed down to you by Cuauhtémoc, eagle warrior of Tenochtitlan. An omen appeared above the forest, the shape of an ear of corn, but blazing like daybreak. It seemed to bleed fire, drop by drop, like a wound in the sky. I am a warrior, not a priest, and knew not what to make of such a sign. I consulted with the seers and magicians to see if another great war was coming, but they answered only in riddles. The gods want more sacrifice, was their answer. That was always their answer. Much of our empire of rainforests and volcanoes has been conquered in the name of sacrifice. The magicians tell us that we must make a sacrifice every single day for the sun to continue to rise. It took the relay teams two full days to carry my message the 200 miles to our city of Tenochtitlan. After two more days, my uncle, Montezuma, Emperor of the Aztecs sent his reply. Montezuma's priests foretold that the god Quetzalcoatl might soon return from his long exile. How else to explain the omen? Montezuma ordered my warriors to increase their efforts to consolidate the rainforest between our lands and those of our enemies. We must establish control over four shrines that are sacred to Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. Because the Aztec Empire is mighty and constantly expands, we have made many enemies. We must defend these shrines from our enemies in order to prepare for Quetzalcoatl's eventual return. Okay, so this scenario you're going to be taking control of the Aztecs and the objective of this is to capture the four shrines on your mini-map. Problem is you don't want to do that right away because uh, they will, the people will attack you if you do uh, go around collecting these shrines and you just got to get the relics. But fortunately the relics are beside the shrine so that's not that big of a problem. Alright, so we've got to also defend these shrines, I believe, as well, at the same time, so I, I think that actually means that if you if they get destroyed, you'll actually lose. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I think so. Uh, yeah, Aztec monks are really good, if you, because every upgrade you get with them, they basically get 5 additional hit points on top of that, so I think the max they can get is like 95 HP, which is a lot, for a monk at least. Alright, so we got early attacks here, we got Tlatelucco in red, they are pretty easy honestly. They're going to be maybe the only enemy I take out because all you have to do is get these relics, so yeah. There is um, Tepanaka, I guess, uh, they are orange, they apparently, yeah, so they, they, they will send quite a few guys at you and they are quite annoying and okay. I don't even fucking know. Ochimelco? I guess. Maybe. Something like that. And, uh, yeah, those those guys are pretty damn annoying. But let's start, anyway. Alright, so first order of the day is to get some stuff going here. We are going to make a mill right here. And we are going to start getting some villagers out. Uh, these guys can look for turkeys. Alright, so this guy's coming up here. Uh, I think there is some turkeys around here. I hear the growl of the jaguar. Is this a bad omen? Yeah, that is amazing voice acting there, guys. Uh, well done. Yeah, I just don't know. All right, so up up here, I'm gonna put down a gate. And uh, yeah, that looks like I've got some turkeys over here. Okay, 
Right, so there is a specific place I want to actually put um, stuff down at. Right. So we're waiting. There are some jaguars that I do will attack you. Right, so it's around here, I think. Okay. Alright, so we got some jaguars here. I'm going to take them out. I don't actually know how much the eagle warriors can actually deal to them. Alright, so yes, right here is where I want to kind of uh, set up a uh, defense. So what I want is a kind of a wall here. And then I can uh, put a gate uh, like that. Alright, so put that gate up there. Uh, oh dear. Okay. Alright. Okay. We got away with that, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to garrison these guys up for now. And we're going to continue building this over and I'm gonna keep getting villagers out of course so yeah let's get more of these turkeys across and yeah we we need to both wall this off and wall this off and that is actually all you need to wall off in this area but uh, you should try to do it fairly quickly because you will be getting some assaults against you so so yeah of course you should be doing that all right you get out come on get the gate up Right, we should also be uh, building a lumber camp here. Uh, I'll, I'll wait until I get in there a bit more. But yes, yeah, so you do actually start out with enough stone to actually uh, deal deal with this. I'm going to probably wall across here. Uh, we'll probably put a castle up somewhere around there later. Or actually, hmm. Should it be here? I guess it should be across here. Alright, let's go with this then. Alright, so right, now we gotta get more of this up. Oh yeah, turkeys are here, okay. Let's get the turkeys over there and start chopping down some more trees. Okay, so let's get this up. Uh, I think if you build the gate here, that actually slows down them for a while. But another thing I should be doing here is actually getting on the getting these eagle warriors to go to the west here, because you can actually uh destroy a barracks from your enemy Twataluko very, very early on that will kind of slow them down and there goes the enemy there they have been uh, they have been diverted they might attack the gate maybe I might have to wall this up but I should do it in time alright okay so we're getting some more uh, villagers out villagers are extremely important at the beginning so just keep in mind that you're probably gonna have to make a bunch because you do start in the feudal age, which is a little disappointing, and I wanted to go this way. Why are you going that way? I guess this is blocked off now. All right. Wait till this gate's up then. Okay, so yeah, just get as many villagers as we can out. We obviously want to go to farms, but yeah. All right, that's cool. That's how I want it actually. Right, we're gonna get you on the forage bushes and let's go over here. Right, so there is quite a lot of gold in your area as well, but uh, eventually I may stop. Um, let's see if they attack us. Probably not. All right, I think we managed to uh, escape that. Right, so Tualuco have a watchtower right here, which is a little annoying, and they will try to scout you out a little bit, but. You should be able to quickly just divert them, really. Uh, oops. Okay, well that's fine. Right, these guys, I, I believe they will be able to kind of... Yeah, they're, they're villagers, uh, you probably shouldn't bother going for them, but I believe it's over here is a barracks. And you can kind of slow them down if you decide to take out the, uh, their militia around it and then try slowly taking it down with these guys. Uh, so let's go attack this. So, yeah. So you may lose a militia here. I'm uh, not a militia, an eagle warrior. Sorry. Try to keep your guys alive if you can. Yes, I managed to. Just. I don't know if they're coming to attack me here. No, they are just scouting. All right. Okay, so I should j just be constantly looking at uh, v getting villagers out. They are very important here, so of course I should really be keeping an eye on that. But I'm not right now. Alright, so you should also get houses up. Remember that uh, you're not going to have that much. Uh, I'm going to get horse collar as well because we're going to need farms. But if you take out this barracks, it actually is pretty easy um, 
to slow them down a lot. There is some stone that I know is over here. Stone's going to be very important for the uh, when you get to the castle age, so I'd send some people on it right now. I don't have enough for that. Okay, so we're we're, we're getting to the end of these berries. Uh, I believe there is some boar around your area. Right, there's one boar there. I think there might be an R1 up there, so we'll we'll check that. All right, so that should be it there. Get these guys up here. Get some more villagers out on um, these trees. And yes, it's actually quite... You know, you're not really doing that much here at the start. So let's get this villager to uh, kind of... I got some injured villagers here, unfortunately. Alright, we're getting our villager out here. Another one. Alright, so I didn't actually want you coming along. So there we go. Alright, so these guys can go after you. They like to get stuck sometimes, which is pretty good for you. Alright, so we'll get on that boar. Uh, I'm going to try see if there is another boar up here, because obviously I have no units right now. Uh, but these these walls should keep uh, you happy for now. There is another boar up there. So I don't know how long this is actually going to last. Um... So I might send this guy out. There they go. They're still trying to get in, but they cannot, which is nice. All right, we we are still uh, still keeping this. They have to rebuild their barracks. I don't think they actually use that archery range as well. So yeah, at least there's that. We'll have this guy go for stone for now, and I will go and get this going, so I can get our villager out onto wood. Probably farms is better, but whatever, we'll, we'll stick to that right now because we are going to need a lot of farms. Uh, so we'll obviously need a lot of uh, wood to support that. And you want to pretty much make as many... What are they even trying to accomplish there? You pretty much want as much... Um, Alright, let's, uh, let's put this guy off. You pretty much want as many uh, people on... Um, stone right now as you can because you want to plop the castles down as soon as you reach the castle age pretty much remember it is 800 food you actually start with 200 gold so you might not need that but uh, there are some other boars all the way over here if you want to go and try and get them but uh, it's not that necessary all right so let's get everyone on that and we're gonna get another couple out here on farms And yes, I have a lot of uh, resources right now, actually. So, right, now we're going to put down a barracks right here. Uh, don't worry about chopping down these tree through these trees. There's actually quite a lot of uh, trees here. We'll get you to build a house first. I actually forgot about that. Let's get two houses up. But uh, yeah, I think the other two enemies might be sending stuff your way soon enough. So that may be a problem. What we're going to do is we're going to try and attack this watchtower here. Alright, so we will get a market up now. Uh, I'm actually going to put the market all the way over here. And you can go help with this. Alright, so... Obviously we want... Yeah, so... Yeah, I will get attacked, but they might create some more militia if they make in our barracks, which is unfortunate. Alright, so these guys are going to go on to uh, the turkeys. Yes, they're not sheep anymore. Uh, so, I think... How many is that? Uh, seven, I believe, which is not fantastic, honestly. Right, so I think it's... Yeah, it's seven. Alright, so you really only want six on uh, turkeys or whatever that you, when you make them. So I'm going to get them off that. I don't know what you're doing. You're gonna make a farm over here. How can... Oh, it's because there's a tree here. Alright, I'll try and take it out then. Alright, so I am slowly con collecting stone as well. I'm trying to take down this watchtower. It just saves me some trouble later on. They do have some stone over there, but I don't think they really use it that much. There's also more stone over here. I actually didn't know about that. But that's fine. Alright, I'll just take down this tree for a bit more farm space. And I'm going to say 
get two more villagers out. No, actually. I probably have enough, honestly. Eh. We'll go for two more right now. I'll put them on gold. And I'll wait a bit before I get to Castle Age. Because everything looks okay right now. They're still trying to get by here. I think I think their AI pathfinder just went derp. And <laughs> just gave up. There we go. Alright, so we will get you in here. And get our farm out here. Maybe should have built them all over here. No, whatever. Oh yeah, I was getting these guys on the... Uh, oops. Okay. Never mind. Put you there. Also get a barracks out. I'm gonna need a barracks. And get... I'm um, get fletching a bit later. Okay. Eventually I'll get that tree. Surprisingly, I haven't seen any attacks coming at me right now. Maybe it's because I walled up pretty quick. It might be because of that. Alright, so I just wait. Oh no, I actually can hit the button now. Alright. Okay. So we start getting on gold there. So I have zero gold, but that's fine. Uh, I'm pretty much just going for this right now. So I'm going to get this guy to go on to... Uh, Lumber as well. Gonna get some farms queued up. And I'm gonna get double bit axe now. As well as fletching. When I can. Or, yeah, fletching. Oh, I need gold for that, okay. Um, why'd you do that? Alright, fine, do what you want then. Alright, I'll just. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave them to it, whatever. Okay, so I definitely need more on gold. Uh, but I will also need some on food as well. Alright, so. Yep, we got stuff going around here. Got a scout there, who can't get through. We're gonna build a castle somewhere over here. Now, the problem is. I'm gonna get one person over here. Problem is, there are some trees in the way. Yes, they are starting to attack now. Okay, there are some trees in the way that make it kind of an annoying for us. But uh, hopefully we can chop them down. Uh, let's just check. Can we get a siege onager? Uh, I'd imagine not. And it wouldn't help us here anyway. Where's the tree? Uh, siege workshop? Uh, there we are. Okay. You can actually get siege onagers as the Aztecs. It's not possible in this scenario anyway, since you can only go to the um, the castle age, you can't go any further than that, so, eh. Alright, so you are done with... How can I still not get that? Is there another tree in the way? I think you lie, sir. Whatever. Alright, so get these two over here. We're, get, we're getting this guy in here. Now, I'm trying to find a way to get this without ha being in... Um, can I just get rid of this quickly, or do I have to uh, have to get all its resources? I imagine I probably have to get all its resources, which is going to be annoying. I don't know if this is in the way as well. The stone walls actually last a decent amount of time, so you shouldn't really worry that much about them. Um, let's get that quickly. Alright, so I doubt I'm going to have room to place this right now. But, uh, yeah, I think this is okay. It's just uh, I need to remember that I'll need to chop down some trees there. Or, alternatively, uh, yeah. Alternative, like, you can go for uh, actually... Um, I never got fletching. Huh. You could go for um, garrisoning up troops and then putting them out the other side. It does work, so yeah. Let's get that castle up there. Keep these guys on stone though, because we're going to build an our castle along here. So yeah, you have so much resources over your side that it really shouldn't matter what you're doing right now. But uh, we'll just put this one guy on it, on uh, constructing stuff right now. Next thing we need is a university. Alright, so we are getting attacked on this side now. I would say this is pretty good because it can actually fire 
on both sides. So it is kind of a castle that takes care of all this. Alternatively, you could just wall across here. But uh, this is this is pretty nice uh, if you do this as well. Uh, they can get through here, by the way. I forgot to point that out. And I forgot about these guys. Uh, they'll build another barracks soon enough. Let's check if they have built it down there. Alright. Alright, so that is a university up. We're going to get more out. More villagers out. Right, so it looks like they have uh, done all of that. Alright, we'll bring these guys back and get them healed up. Um, obviously, I'm going to go for fortified walls. I'm just waiting for these, these guys to get enough stone for another castle, but, you know, it's taken a while. Alright, so the actual plan of attack will be um, probably Jaguar yeah. Jaguar Warriors and uh, Battering Rams, which means I need a Siege Workshop out. And that means also upgrading, uh, forging, etc. And I'll also get Squires. Right, so I got basically no food right now. And I forgot about these villagers here. So let's, uh, let's take care of that. Alright, so that castle is done, but we can get by without it really being uh, very in a very annoying place. Honestly, they'd never make anything that can really take your uh, castles out. So you really don't need to worry at all after you build castles for your base, really. I don't think any of them... Do any of them build siege weapons? Um, I don't think any of them build siege weapons, so it's really easy. Alright, so I want the gold increase. I don't need to get stoned that quickly after I built two castles, and I'm almost there anyway, so... Eh, whatever. Uh, I cannot get treadmill crane. I need more food. Okay. Alright, so heavy plow and get some of that going. And when we can build the castle here... Alright, well, I'm gonna make sure that I'm close so they don't destroy it right away. They can do that. Alright, so let's get the castles built. And this wall is going to last for long enough, so yeah. Uh, I'll get ballistics right now. And this is just going to kill so many of their guys, so... Yeah, I would say this is a pretty good investment. Alright, so I'm going to get three back ring rams out right now. Uh, I'm obviously going to want some Jaguar Warriors as well. Jaguar, uh, whatever. They're base. I'll, sh I'll show you what they are in a second. Okay, that was just one guy. Calm yourself. Obviously, we want the, the upgrades for infantry at the same time. That's going to come up well enough. So yeah, this is not a very difficult scenario as long as you kind of just stick uh, with what you have in this base here. You could go around, to take out Tepanaka and um, Ocheko Melko. I don't even know how you say their name, but uh, they they don't they have a castle. Uh, I believe both of them have a castle, but Tuatha is so pathetic that they do not. Tuatha is really really shitty, honestly. Uh, so. I built a barracks so I can maybe like make long swordsmen, but honestly, Jaguar warriors are probably good enough as it is, so I'll probably just make a bunch of them. Uh, right, so I'm gonna get like another villager out for farms. And we'll keep these guys on the stone because I will eventually need an our castle. Alright, one thing I can do is, uh, I need another villager for that. Right, this guy on stone is coming across here, and he's going to garrison up. You are going to make a farm. 